doing is actually making a, um, a top or a hard cover for this uh, just for the top part of it. And this is just cardboard so to give you an idea of the size that it's going to be. And what we want to do is uh, put some plywood here to allow this uh, to actually support a little bit of weight on it. Uh, maybe a couple of these kinds of cabinets over here. So, and obviously we don't want to put anything directly onto it, which is the reason why we're going to put the uh, plywood down on it. We just need to measure it to make sure uh, we get a good exact size on it. Okay, this is the sub that we're going to use for uh, smaller events or um, where events are that uh, are sort of restrictive to the size of the sub that we can use. All right, so my video camera is uh, maybe reaching its end of life. I'm still using my original one. So anyway, the uh, cut was made, uh, made a fence there using the uh, level. Uh, works out great. So next, uh, next on the list is for the next cut. like this is going to fit. I've left uh, about a uh, quarter of an inch uh, available all the way around it because I'm going to put, uh, I plan to put some bumpers uh, down it to uh, secure it, keep it from sliding around. Okay, so I think that's going to work. All right, let me work on some bumpers. All right, well, before I get started, uh, there, are, um, there are a few options here with this. Uh, obviously, you could just let it sit on here, but uh, I'm not going to do that because uh, the wood could end up scraping some of the surface off. We don't want to do that to it. And uh, another option I was thinking about, uh, which I'm still not ruling it out, but is to use um, Velcro straps to strap them down to strap this down. And basically, if we're setting stuff on top of this, we don't want things on the surface that can get in the way of if we have to slide stuff around. Now, I had considered just wrapping a strap around the center part of it, coming over here to hold it, uh, which would work. But then to put it back on, say, after a show, we've got to mess with a, a single strap. It doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, that's just some added overhead added time in trying to do a loadout. So uh, what I thought about doing was the Velcro, using Velcro straps on here. They come around the side and they attach to uh, a Velcro end on end down here. So all we'd have to do is just strap it down. Uh, the straps would be pretty much out of the way if we had to put anything on here. Uh, but anyway, that, that's something I'm still going to entertain, but I'm going to try the bumper side here first. And, let me flip this over here. What I mean by bumper is um, I'm going to put a quarter inch strip uh, of wood down here and then put some padding on the inside of it. Uh, all the way around here is it's going to sit down on here. Uh, it should technically just sit down in here and not move. Uh, my strap, my Velcro strap here is my backup method if I can't get the, um, the bumper thing to work. So anyway,
All right, so it's been about an hour, which should be long enough. Um, keep everything down, tack down on it so it stays glued. Said um, the ends really aren't going to be under a lot of stress here. You should just sit right over it. All right. Actually, uh, I think this is going to work. Um, there's not much movement, maybe a sixteenth of an inch that direction. About the same on that side. I said the whole idea here is just to keep it, um, is just to keep it on there. Here you go. We can take a look at this. All right, while the glue is dry, let it actually sit overnight. Uh, it was probably dry within maybe uh, totally dry within three or four hours. But uh, anyway, we just thought we just let it sit. So now we're going to uh, put some paint on it. And uh, this is actually going to be a satin paint because we want the um, uh, we want the uh, any kind of moisture that's on it. We want it to be able to easily be wiped off or run off. Uh, flat black uh, would probably be okay, but um, uh, sometimes flat paint can be quite a bit rough, and it. It ends up being a little bit harder to clean. So anyway, we're going to do um, a black uh, satin on it. Um, so anyway, okay. So we don't want to bore you with any uh, of the painting, and I'm sure nobody wants to watch uh, paint dry. So we'll get back to this. All right, first side done. We're gonna let that uh, dry for a while. We'll flip it over and uh, do the rest of it. All right, other side is now done, so we need to give us some time to dry, and then we'll uh, try it out. All right, with everything painted, so all we got to do, as you can sort of see the uh, the bumpers are here, so then it'll just sit right on top of that, and we probably have maybe a sixteenth of an inch, something like that. Actually, the the there's not much room at all here uh, between this side and this side for movement. It's pretty solid. This side here, we've probably got about a sixteenth of an inch, uh, which should be okay. So um, I think this will provide a real good uh, surface for it. But before before we say everything's done, I'm going to um, put some padding just around the edges over here. So I got my uh, sacrificial surface here. I'm going to do my cutting on. So the strips don't need to be too wide. Uh, just enough to cover this edge, and maybe a little bit on the side there. All right, so we're just going to cut a few here. This isn't like a, sh this is, I don't say it's a shock foam, but it's fairly dense. It's definitely not uh, weak, uh, but it is, it's almost like a small sh padding of shock foam. Pretty good. It's, um, it's got a little bit of a little bit of a sponginess to it, but uh, not bad really. The um, once again the uh, movement between here and here 
Uh, there's hardly any at all. Side to side movement. Uh, still feels like, yeah, I got about maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Still not bad, but um, it is sitting on the phone, which will also help uh, keep it from moving around. And the idea here is uh, uh, because uh, we do have limited space here, so when we store some stuff, we need to go uh, vertical with it. Uh, we really can't go horizontal anymore. So the idea behind this now is to do that. So we can probably store a couple of these uh, tubs on here. Anyway, uh, that's, this is what it's going to be used for. I don't know how much weight it can handle. Um, may have to do some math to figure that out. But um, anyway, uh, I think it'll work good for what it's designed for. All right, so one other thing we're going to do here just to make sure that um, just to make sure there's no question so we don't want any confusion on anything so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm putting a little sticker here it says this side down I think anybody um, working the show is going to see that and go okay they need to know to flip it over instead of thinking that they can set it up right Okay, so here we have this side down. All right, I think that's it. All right, thanks for watching. And some of you are probably asking, well, what's the use of this thing? Why, why do we still have a soft cover if we're just going to use a hardcover for this. Well, personally, uh, I'm not too much of a fan of soft covers. I think they're great for certain situations, but uh, for our situation here, soft covers uh, are usually in the way. And if you've got a lot of soft covers and you show up at an event, you've got to manage uh, all of the stuff. I guess you could keep it in your trailer and your truck, which is fine. You know, for example, if we were packing, um, if we're doing like a really tight packing in the trailer or in the van, uh, and if we move stuff, if we shove this in here and we've got this on it, uh, there's a very good chance that these sands can get really cut, scraped, and easy to destroy. But I do understand that it'd be better to wreck the cover than it would be the speaker. But almost guaranteed, with as tight as we get our cargo van, for example, these covers, they won't make it. Okay, and also, if we do have the uh, cover on here, we really can't stack anything on top of it. I mean, if, if we did, it'd be, it'd be really light. I mean, it looks great, but there's no security on it. And if we were to put this, this cover on it here, the only thing supporting it are these quarter inch uh, bumpers here. That we could potentially cause a problem here by putting too much weight on this and possibly splitting one of the bumpers. So these are only quarter inch bumpers. And also, if this thing sits up here, it moves around. And we don't want, the, the, uh, uh, we don't want any of the uh, cargo to be able to move around. However, we will still use this cover, if we go to a job where we don't, uh, we don't need to carry a lot of things, and this sub will have its own space to live in, then we'll use the cover for it. But um, other than that, the cover uh, is, is going to stay off of it. Even when we store here, the cover is going to be off because we need to keep that plate on it to be able to stack stuff up uh, vertically.